Hello Stratters, welcome to the first match in this Legacy League. We are playing Esper Stoneblade. What do we have? Hmm. Not the best hand I've ever seen, but still fairly decent. Um, I think it's capable. The question is... Do we spew off a brainstorm or do we go for the thoughtsies? Our hand is pretty strong against hand disruption, so we could go for the turn one thoughtsies and brainstorm after that. We could also just play land, say go and don't do anything. Mm, I kind of like the play land pass, and then we can decide whether or not to brainstorm. The thing is, if I fetch, I can't get a triple land, that's just not possible. So, this has to be good. Underground Sea. Could be Storm, could be Shardless Bug, it could be Tesserator, it could be the Mirror, it could be a lot of things. So, it doesn't really give us any information. It's probably not Miracles. I think since that's what my opponent is doing, I'm just gonna take my turn. Alright. Then I'm prob Unless this gets stifled, obviously. Which is a possibility. I think I'm just going to play Underground Sea and Brainstorm. kind of weigh our options a bit. Since we have two brainstorms, I think this is fine. Just throwing uh, Stoneforge out there seems a bit rushed. We could have kept Counterspell up, but Underground Sea Go could mean a bunch of things, so... Okay... So let's ditch... I guess Stoneforge and one of the Force of Wales. Yeah, that's probably fine. Because I'm gonna play. Hmm. Actually, I can't play Death Right. If I fetch, I have to fetch White. I guess I can fetch Scrubland. Then I can cast counter spell, but that probably doesn't matter too much. I think that's fine. Could fetch Bayou, but no, that doesn't help. I think Scrubland. Yeah. I think it's good to get Death Right out. Uh, and he also fixes the mana for what it's worth. Then we can use Force if we need to, and next turn we can play Stoneforge plus Thoughtsies, which should be pretty good. kind of feels like my opponent has like a spell pierce or a spell snare or maybe even a force some some form of disruption but I like not to play it see if it's a disfigure or a dismember or something could just be a brainstorm but we will see entomb okay <coughs> I actually think I'm going to to counter that pitching brainstorm. The thing is I could let Entomb resolve but then if he has like the rest reanimate I'm screwed. Uh, this way he has to put something in the bin. Okay I can't pay for that. Well, this still works out in a similar way. I don't have green mana, so I can't eat creatures right now. But I still think Thoughtsies plus um, a counter spell might be good enough to bridge us over here. Yeah, the thing is that they have. They don't have that many good discard outlets. I mean, they do have a lot of them, but. 
Entomb is the best and if I can prevent creatures from even hitting the graveyard that would be great. Now if he has reanimate, he has reanimate. I mean that's just that's just how it is. Well he does. Then I'm probably dead. Yes, it doesn't help. Uh, Stoneforge doesn't really help. I guess we will thought this. <laughs> Double thought is Iona upon a brainstorm. So they didn't even have the second land. Well, we are going to perish fairly quickly. Is there any point in play? I don't think so. I think we can concede. It's unfortunate, but I still think this was uh, this was a good way to go about things. So we got relics, spell quellers. Uh, I guess flust storms. And that's about it. I'm not in love with uh, Swords to Plowshares, I can't say. So I'm gonna remove at least three. Uh, I don't think True Name Nemesis is that great either because he's way too slow. And uh, Trima Jace, probably. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, I mean, since we didn't got any information, it's so hard to to play around anything. I mean, we, we could have kept um, we could have kept counter spell up. Uh, not that it would have mattered, but I guess we could have just played a land, said go, and then when he goes for entomb, brainstorm to try to hit force over counter spell to play around days, but. It's without any setup. It's kind of it's kind of stupid to play around the exact scenario with entomb days and reanimate. Uh, yeah, I kind of like this hand. So here, I actually think we will go for. Uh, a Bayou Death Rite, and the reason is that we can just pass, keeping it up, and have Spell Quill ready. Yes, we lose to turn one, discard outlet, um, Lotus Petal, reanimate, but that's just how it is. I mean, we could get dazed. No, we can't get dazed. We can't get forced, but. That's also how it is. We can also elect to Thoughtsies um, and keep Deathrite Shaman up. We have options next turn. I'm kind of more into that, actually. Just play like Underground Sea and use Thoughtsies. If he has a Thoughtsies, well, then he has a Thoughtsies. It's unfortunate that he runs Thoughtsies over the res, which. Uh, I mean, usually Spell Queller is pretty good against these types of decks because it can't get the rest. It's a creature. And they typically don't run that much removal, so Spell Queller is nice. Let's see if we have a shuffle or not. And. Okay. Not shuffle. Okay. We get to untap. That's good. I think I'm just gonna thought this now. He has to be safe. Uh, so we got swamp, delta, reanimate, tyrant. Careful brain. So, what do we take? We can take the reanimate, we could take the tyrant and eat it, but that seems foolish. 
could take careful study. I guess we just take. I'm just gonna take the reanimate. Reanimate itself is not that um, scary. It's um, uh, what's it called? Shallow grave. The one that doesn't target. That's the one that's uh, that's bad. So you've got Swamp, Tyrant, Careful Study, Brainstorm, and one unknown card. Guess we will see Prefetch Brainstorm. Very interesting. I guess you knew your top card. She would only see two new cards, but still. So now we don't really know anything about our opponent's hand. Uh, but we know that these three cards are in the top, uh, top two or in the hand. So we're just gonna eat. Okay. This I don't like at all. <laughs> Maybe you just want to keep, keep something up. Uh, let's remove ponder. I wouldn't mind drawing one more disruptive card if possible. Mm, that does not count. Uh, I guess we go for ponder. We don't pay for it if it gets gets hit by anything. That's fairly interesting, actually. Uh, so we could get another death right into play here. Then we would only have one death right as protection. I, d I, I don't think this is really what I'm looking for. <laughs> I guess Island isn't either, but. M maybe that was greedy, but. <coughs> I mean, if we draw and play death right shaman, which is something we could do, then we have a death right activation up. That's all we got. Uh, that might be enough to bridge us over for the next turn. There we have a delta, so my guess is that swamp is gone, but we can't be sure. I would like to untap. Then I think we'll be in great shape. This could be like a careful study dumping two things. Yep. Maybe I'm supposed to counter that. But I can counter... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> okay, that's nice. I'm gonna eat careful study. Not a ponder. I'm not gonna play it this turn. I'm gonna keep Death Right plus Spell Queller up. I do have a pretty slow clock. I I admit that, but I can spew off the Spell Queller basically at any point now. I wouldn't mind drawing a Brainstorm next turn. Python Needle. I think that's that's good enough. I get another body into play, which is good. Uh, let's grab Tundra. Yeah. Interesting that he didn't elect to play the Tyrant. That might mean that he doesn't have it. So now hopefully we will survive. It looks like we will. Uh, let's eat the reanimate. Wasteland. Not spectacular. 
uh, that won't work. Let's play the ponder and see what we can dig up. Snapcaster. <sighs> yeah, sure. I don't think wasting is that good. Let's just play Snapcaster Thoughtsies. This also means that he's, let's see, 10, 8, on tap, 4, two. he goes to 2, which is pretty good. And waste landing an opponent that can go off from like 1 mana seems pretty pretty stupid as well. Reanimate and Tomb the Tide Spout Tyrant. I'm gonna take Reanimate. Yeah, I'm going to take reanimate. The thing is, I could take Entomb, but then if he draws like a careful study, that's really bad for me. Now he doesn't have a reanimation spell. Okay, so... That's good. Now we're pretty set to win this, I think. Now we can eat the Brainstorm. There's nothing I can do with uh, this said stone forge. Except play it, I guess, but let's work a land and I guess play it. Yeah sure, we can go grab a batter skull. Okay, great. Now we don't need to show my opponent any more cards. I don't think there's anything they can do here, no. I have three lethal creatures. <sighs> hmm. Do I want to bring in something to destroy Needle? Right now... I have nothing to destroy a needle. I could bring in abrupt decay, but it doesn't do anything. I don't think it's worth it. If he needles death right shaman, then so be it. Uh, I have more more disruption than death right shaman. And death right shaman on the draw honestly isn't that great. They can win before he gets activated, which is annoying. Yeah, maybe that Ponder Shuffle was greedy, but... I don't know. see what we get. If I could choose an opener, well it depends on what my opponent is doing obviously, but like a force of will, a blue card, a land, maybe a thought sees, maybe, I mean Death Ride Shaman is always pretty strong. I guess like Fluster Storm, Force, blue card, two lands, death right shaman, and uh, like a spell pierce or something. That would be pretty sick. Let's see what the gods bestow upon us. Well, it's pretty close, <laughs> I have to say. I think I'm going to keep this. We have turn one disruption. Yeah, I guess we have to keep this. We can spell pierce or fluster storm or something. Then we untap. We can waste land, hopefully. Use the other one. Yeah, I think it's fine. I mean, if we dr die on turn one, then we die on turn one. Brainstorm would indicate otherwise. 
and now we can't um, wasteland, but that's just how it is. Not, not certain that I want to wasteland anyway because Snapcaster and Spell Queller costs mana. So leading with this is this specifically is pretty good because going for a reanimate now would require a Lotus Petal or Dark Ritual if that's something my opponent is running or if they have Urborg but yeah also leading with a brainstorm did you scry you scry to the top so you knew one of the cards <sighs> might be correct to ponder actually force of will mm. I think we just play this and pass. We have so much disruption that it seems foolish to tap out. We only have one blue source though, which is um, pretty bad. Since we really want to play more than one spell each turn. But we will see. So if my opponent goes for like careful study into reanimate, then we have spell pairs. If it gets dazed. Maybe that's a reason to play Fluster Storm first. Since we can pay for a potential days next turn. Hmm. Well, we will see what my opponent does. There's the careful study. I could spell pierce it. Uh, I think it's fine. I don't have a graveyard hate card right now, which is sad. I mean, I could spell pierce it, get dazed, which seems bad. Hellish Norn. Alright. Then another careful study. Yep. Underground C. Good, good. And reanimate, I assume. Yep. <coughs> Then I'm just gonna go for Fluster Storm. Uh, let's grab Tundra and play Fluster Storm. Now you need to have many daces. Stoneforge, very interesting as well. I think you're just gonna play Wasteland and say go. Swamp. Yeah, Wastelanding seems so bad. Show and tell. You shall spell pairs. Nothing, right? Blue source. Then I think we will pass again. We got Snapcaster, Fluster Storm or Spell Pairs. We got Spell Queller, we got Force. Uh, hmm. So we obviously have a big card in hand. Otherwise you wouldn't play Show and Tell, unless it's a bait. So if I Spell Queller here, I only have Force. still think that's fine. So we go for Underground Sea, I guess. Yeah. Since it feels like he has a big card. Oh, a Dace. Yes, we force pitch ponder. This is a, a gamble, obviously. But unless the show and tell was a bait, uh, this works out fine. Another force. Hmm. 
So his last card is most likely a big, big card. So, do I Stoneforge this turn? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Better skull. And I don't, still don't think I wasteland. Putting, I mean, if he draws exactly show and tell, yes, that's pretty bad. <laughs> Says. Mm -hmm. I actually think it's worth using. Crystal Brown, Force of Will. Yep, take Force. So now we can put Batter Skull in and then have Snapcast of Luster Storm or Force of Will up. We can use Wasteland if we want to. Let's see what you drew. Exhume. Yeah, that's bad. We will have to do something about that. And now we just have to hope that we will go all the way. Now we can easily do that bash with everything and pray that this isn't too bad for us ah that's pretty bad <laughs> I guess it's not the end of the end of the world if Elish Norn comes in but it's still pretty bad we get a zero one flyer and a two two lifelink vigilance. And our only out would be a swords to plowshares, which we only have one of. Or a Jace, I guess. Land Jace. Four, five, six, seven. We don't have lethal, which is also quite annoying. So we know we have Gristle Brand and now three unknown cards. What would be our best draw? Straight up counter spell, probably. Relic would probably be good too. Force. Force does not help. So we put our opponent to one. That means no gristle brand shenanigans. But an Entomb? No? Well, I can't do anything. I guess I can return. Okay, so you brainstormed. Didn't draw anything, so now you're gonna brainstorm. And hopefully you don't hit. If Elish Norn comes in, that's still, as I said, not the end of the world. We have outs for that. Well, that doesn't do anything. Yay! <laughs> nice. We would have drawn land, relic. Relic would probably have been too late at that point. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll bring you another league match as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps us out. You can find us on Twitter at MagicGathStrat, Facebook slash MagicGatheringStrat, or on the web MagicGatheringStrat.com. There you can find articles and free prize supported leagues. This is all brought to you by our Patreons and CardHoarder.com. If you enjoy this content, please consider supporting us at Patreon.com slash MagicGatheringStrat.